Prism Sounds Orpheus is the award-winning multi-channel FireWire interface. With built-in mic pre's, unbeatable sound quality, state-of-the-art clock technology and low latency flexible monitoring, Orpheus is the ultimate interfacing solution. JG Harding here at IBC 2010 in Amsterdam. Uh, I'm here with Pete Nash from Sadie, who's going to talk us through the new Sadie 6. Take it away, Pete. Thank you very much indeed. Yes, uh, this is actually when we are officially releasing the Sadie 6 software. Up till now, Sadie has always been uh, hardware platform and software, so you needed the hardware to run it. But now, with Sadie 6, it's native, so we can run it on standard ASIO uh, boxes, or we can run it on Windows Media, or you can use the existing Sadie 5 hardware, which gives you advantages of latency-free recording. However, today I've got it just running in my laptop here, and I just want to take you through a couple of the uh, interesting uh, things that Sadie's got that uh, really workflow is what it's all about, and that's why many of the big broadcasters around the world are using it. Um, we have a number of different EDLs within a project. We can have as many EDLs as we like within a project, and a project is simply a folder that contains all our audio and all the files we use for editing it. That means we can have lots of different versions. So, for example, at a show like now, I could be editing in my hotel room or on a plane, and then get into the studio, and I can unpick all the edits and load up another EDL, another version of the same program, and cut and paste between them. So workflow is very important to us. Um, most of the work, most of the uh, material we, we have these days will come off a server, so I can just import from anywhere, and say it will automatically sample rate convert material that you bring in uh, to the sample rate of the project you're working at, and then it's all about editing. So the editing of the clips, it's completely non-destructive, of course, um, Sadie. I can cut it with a, a little razor blade, or I can cut it with a pair of scissors if I can see where I want to cut it, and then I can edit in a number of ways five different editors within Sadie, depending on the kind of way you're working. So I can top and tail my individual clips, I can change the uh, crossfades, I can change the fade durations and shapes, and you'll notice that the graphics update themselves in real time as you're doing it. There's no rendering in Sadie whatsoever. Workflow is the key, of course. One of the other editors in Sadie, which is, uh, which is unique to the software, is this editor called the Trim Editor, where I can see each bit of audio, either side of the edit point, as if it were a piece of tape sliding over itself. So I can simply move ums and ahs, remove ums and ahs and silences and spaces, and manipulate the crossfades from within this particular editor and send that back up to the playlist. Uh, very, very, very fast for taking ums and ahs out of your work. Again, as I say, with multiple EDLs in a project, you can start on one version of it, do lots of edits, save that as another version, and you can have 20 or 30 different EDLs within a project if you so desire. One thing that we've uh, also released, and it's just been signed for the IBC show, uh, is a deal with uh, Isotope. Isotope, who make a number of plugins, have started making plugins directly for Sadie now, and you can see the little logo here says Isotope for Sadie 6. There are nine plugins that come with all the Sadie 6 software packages now, uh, running from analog delays, um, there's a pitch shifter in there, which I haven't yet got today, mastering reverb, uh, the uh, multiband compressor, uh, some of the favorites from Isotope are now included with all the Sadie 6 packages. We've broken Sadie down into three basic packages. Radio producer, which is the, the main uh, uh, Sadie package, because that's where most of the sales are in, in the radio production world. But also post-production, mastering, which is another big area for Sadie, and one we call Sound Suite, which contains all the plugins that Sadie makes. And of course, all of them contain the Isotope uh, plugin pack as now as standard. Uh, with all Sadie, uh, systems, there's an integrated PQ editor, so you can burn your CDs, make your Redbook CDs directly from any of the EDLs, so you don't have to bounce that down, then mark it up, listen back. If it's not right, you have to start again. You just simply move the flags around if you want to, and you can burn another CD anytime you like. Uh, the integrated mixer with all the systems is again real time. It's on the way out of Sadie that all the processing happens, so everything is automatable. All your fades, your pans, all your onboard effects, all your EQs and dynamics, as well as, of course, the new Isotope plugins uh, that are included there. So I can just uh, allocate any of the uh, uh, plugins that are on board with Sadie to be automated or not. Um, and when you come to play out, Nothing's ever rendered in Sadie, so when you save the project, it's instant. But if you want to play it out to your playout server or onto a CD or onto a USB stick, there's one button that does that and allows you to choose whether it's going to be multi, 
uh, a multi-channel or stereo or mono, whether it includes all the plugins, all the automation you've done in the mixer. And if you're using the VCS playout server, which is used by the BBC and other broadcasters, there's a button there which chooses the sample rate and the bit rate and puts it in the relevant folder for the playout server. So from end to end, it's all about workflow. It's all about speed of operation, ingesting your material, speed of operation of editing your material, um, adding effects, having lots of different uh, uh, EDLs within your project, and then delivering it to your playout server. That all sounds great, Peter. Uh, what's the price point of the different versions you mentioned? Yes, we thought long and hard about the price point. Obviously, it's a lot more cost effective now for someone starting to use Sadie than it used to be when you had to buy the hardware. So the four packages are the radio producer, which contains all the plugins apart from the video and the mastering, is £1,500, £1,495. The mastering suite and the post suite are £1,750. And the sound suite, which contains all the Sadie plugins, is £2,200. Oh, great, Peter. Th thanks for taking us through uh, all of the features. You're welcome. Cheers.